Catch up and get ahead with the EDGE. In Bear County, 80% of those eligible are registered to vote, but only 12% of registered voters cast a ballot last spring in the most hotly contested mayor and council race in a decade. During November presidential elections, as many as 50% of local voters cast ballots. That's one reason San Antonio Councilman Ron Nirenberg proposed moving local elections from May to November to boost voter turnout. Also at the 2015 Civic Engagement Summit at UTSA, scholar Peter Levine said cities like San Antonio should consider lowering the voting age to 16 or 17 to increase uh, voter turnout. But, and, and, and it's for a specific reason to go to that age, which is that then the kids can uh, be taught how to vote, not who to vote for, but the voting process during their high school social studies class. The City of San Antonio issued new policies that says will make it easier for charities to feed the homeless while making sure the food is safe. The new recommendations come after last month's Homeless Feeding Summit held by the city to address concerns of local Good Samaritan groups. We need to, we need to find ways to get you guys to, to, to help you do what you want to do, do, help you do the good that you do. It's not illegal to feed the homeless in San Antonio, but there are regulations regarding safe food handling. Under the proposed revisions to Chapter 13 of the City Code, a charitable feeding section will be added that specifically addresses the safety of prepared food and outlines minimum requirements for outdoor feeding of five or more people. At a City Council session this week, SAWS President and CEO Robert Puente apologized for calling a report critical of the Vista Ridge Project a joke. And Mayor Ivy Taylor pledged to hold public meetings where SAWS will answer questions about that project and the utility's move to increase water rates. Groups from Save Our Springs to the Greater Edwards Aquifer Alliance and others are planning protests, news conferences, and educational meetings on Vista Ridge and on water rates. September 15th to October 15th is National Hispanic Heritage Month. The San Antonio Public Library kicked off the celebration with an evening of storytelling and poetry. Colombian storyteller Carolina Quiroga Stoltz brought to life captivating myths sprung from indigenous Central and South America, their vibrant cultures, and their conquest. And he, Trade Maestro Salmendro's soul for something that we will never know. Then, UTSA Chicano literature professor Ben Olguin, a former boxer, presented his testimonial poetry, bearing witness to the ongoing struggles of Latinos, and replayed the discussions by local scholars on Latinos' roles in World War II, from training soldiers at Fort Sam Houston to welding bomb parts at the Friedrich Refrigeration Company. Go to nowcastessay.com where you can weigh in on how to boost voter turnout, Catch up on the water debate. Learn about policies making it easier to feed San Antonio's homeless. Celebrate culture and history during Hispanic Heritage Month. Thanks for watching The Edge.